I smell it. Do you smell? Really? I can't. Yeah, I can smell this. It's like, nah, no, that ain't going down. <laughs> but the juice doesn't. I tried it for the viewers. Hey guys, hoje eu tô aqui com meu vizinho. Ele se chama Jason. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Hola. Before we get started, um, Jason is not only my neighbor, but he's also a pretty uh, inspirational guy. First, I should mention that you are one of how many people? ever to run across the United States. Less than 300 people. Another thing to mention too is that you're probably the only legally blind person to ever do that. Ever do it, ever attempt it. Before we get into the, the juices, um, do you want to talk a little bit about your book that you have? Uh, sure. So I ran across the country a couple years ago. I've since then become a motivational speaker and as I go out and speak to different companies like Amazon, Coors, different stuff. Uh, a bunch of these places have asked, you know, well, where's the book? And I never had a book. And as I thought about that, I have three children, and I thought they didn't even know the real story of my life or the run. So I ended up actually writing a book uh, called Running Into the Dark. It'll be, it's available on Amazon right now, but it'll be available on Audible in April. It's been great. This thing tells the entire journey of the madness, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't read it yet, but... Well, this will be your copy <laughs> then, Brian, right here. There's no excuses anymore. <laughs> Cool, and so you just actually went on a run, so I hope that you're hungry or thirsty for some, some juices. I am parched, so I'm <laughs> ready to drink these things. It's looking wonderful. Yeah, so I guess let's get started. Is there one that looks uh, looks appealing to you? <laughs> they all look phenomenal. All right, I like so the bright colors. I'm good with everything. <laughs> let's start over here. Okay. And so I have a little couple little notes about each of these before we, we try them. So, Kupuasu is common throughout the Amazon basin and it is widely cultivated in the jungles of Colombia, Bolivia, Peru, mm. and in the north of Brazil in a few states. Yeah. The pulp of Kupuasu fruit is widely consumed throughout Central and South America and is used to make ice creams, snack bars, and other value-added products. The white pulp of the Kupuasu has an odor described as a mix of chocolate and pineapple. Yum. That smells like paint to me. It smells a little like paint. <laughs> The juice tastes primarily like a pear with a hint of banana, and it looks like a like a stretched out coconut. Okay. And it has a shell like a coconut, so you have to like break it open to get to the fruit. So here's the first one. Cheers. Cheers. And don't feel like you have to drink all of it because there's a ton. Or drink all of it. <laughs> has a different taste. Smelled like pear going down. Tastes a little bit tart, just a little, mm -hmm. just a tinge, but not too much. That's good, yeah. I like it. Yeah, it is good, it's smooth. Yeah, I would but keep yeah. drinking that. <laughs> Are we gonna rate these things on a scale of one to 10? We could, yeah. Okay. You wanna do it now or you wanna do it after we try them all? Let's do them after we try them all. Okay. All right, so this next one, um, have you had papaya before? Yes, I have. Okay, so this is papaya mixed with acerola, okay? And acerola is called the Barbados cherry. Okay. It's native to South America, Southern yeah. Mexico, Puerto Rico, Yum. Dominican Republic, Haiti, Brazil, and Central America, but is now being grown as far north as Texas, and it looks like a lipstick red cherry. So it looks exactly like a cherry, just a little bit brighter, huh. more vibrant red color. Okay. Down the hatch. <laughs> Definitely getting the papaya. I taste the papaya. Yeah. I'd slam this bad boy too, but I'm afraid of I'm looking at it. They all <laughs> We haven't got a lot of juice left. These two taste very well so far. Yeah. Yeah, I can't, the, I can't taste the, the acerola fruit, yeah. at all. Yeah, that's another good one. It's going down the hatch. I like Man, that. Man, you killed it. <laughs> okay, both those are pretty. Okay, those are okay. Finish them off. I might finish yours too. Those are good. All right. I like both awesome. those so far as contrasted to like juices that I've tasted in America because mm -hmm. the American juices are really overpowering and sweet. Mm -hmm. And these ones are, you know, you taste the fruit and there's a lot of liquid in there too. So yeah. I'm actually, I'm enjoying those as a difference to, than what I'm used to mm -hmm. from normal American juices. Um, all right, let's move on to Kaja. So this one has the least appetizing color of all of them, I think. Glad I don't see that well. Because <laughs> it doesn't look that much different from anything else. So Kaja, this one looks exactly like imagine a mix between an orange and a tomato. That's what the fruit looks like. Okay. All right. It has a sweet and sour taste and mixes well with cocktails. Okay. Here we go. It smells like a candle. Cheers. <laughs> kind of like a sweet tart mixed in water. In a different texture, this is more like juice juice as opposed to pulp. I, don't know, I would say this is probably, out of these three, my least favorite. 
I'm not sure if I'll down this one. I'm gonna save a little room for the next one. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, that, that might have been my least favorite too. Could be that I'm just getting full. Yeah, that's true. And it's, it's not terrible, but it's, and it's definitely a unique flavor. It's tart. If that's a mixed drink with mm -hmm. alcohol, that actually might not be bad. Okay, so this one, um, so so another thing, you, you used to live in Puerto Rico for yes. how many years? Six years. Six years. So some of these fruits um, you might have come across, but this is a graviola. Okay, so anyway, it, this one looks like a, like a green spiky lung that grows on a tree. Okay. The flavor has been described as a combination of strawberries and apples with sour citrus flavor notes contrasting with an underlying creamy texture reminiscent of coconut or banana. Soursop is widely promoted as an alternative, alternative cancer treatment. There is, however, no medical evidence that this is effective. Huh. Okay. This is smelling like a pina colada in the glass. <laughs> is, that, is that the same color? Is that like a light color? Like a white yeah, color kind yeah, of too? Yeah, it's pretty white. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bring me back home. Mm. <laughs> this one, I feel like this one would mix well with, with uh, some rum too. I think We're like back in it. Yeah. <laughs> We're back in it. This one's very good. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. So yeah. that there's not really like an aftertaste I didn't feel like. Mm -mm. This one is like almost one that you would like go to the beach and drink and it's just because it's not very heavy. Yeah. It's kind of nice and light and refreshing. Did you know that so when I was in Brazil for the for our honeymoon, yep. we went to the northeast and they have indigenous cashew trees there. Okay. And did you know cashews grow on a fruit? I did not. And they call them, the fruit itself is called in English a cashew apple. Okay. And then underneath it is where the cashew grows. So it's like, so you can't eat them raw, but you can like, you can like pick them off the tree and then like suck out the juice. Holy cow. And it's really like, I had no, my mind was huh. blown when I found that out. You're going to show a picture for our viewers. Of course. Of that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. Cause I'm going to watch that so I can see what you're talking about. That's cool. So it's one of the most popular and prevalent juices throughout Brazil, but the skin of the, the apple, the cashew apple part is really thin. So you can't really transport it fresh to, to places really far away. Okay. So I think that's why we've never heard of it because huh. we can't, we don't have access to it. But with the first time I saw cashew juice in the supermarket down there, I was like, why? Yeah, because it's wanna, a nut. It's a nut. How, first of oh, all, how juice. do you make juice out of it? Second of all, why would you want to drink cashew flavored juice? But anyway, uh, the juice tastes very different from what a cashew tastes like. But when we were in the Northeast, we, we ordered it a lot and it was, Delicious. Wow. This is made from, this is the only one we I didn't make from uh, like the puree. Okay. It's from like a concentrate, so I don't know. It's, so is this like from the Bahia region? Like that area? Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yep, so. I was in Carnival there one time. Really? To Carnival. With the Trio Electricos. <laughs> know all about that. <laughs> I kind of I mean, remember. I feel like there's a story there. <laughs> a few. <laughs> Those are the past. Maybe like, for oh. another video. Yeah. Okay. But these are different glasses I noticed. Yeah, we, I ran out of the tall skinny ones, so. I call these carnival glasses. <laughs> so, I can already tell I didn't put enough sugar in it. But, it or maybe it's just because it's from concentrate. The taste is right. The taste is there. It's the taste just... is all right. The smell is getting to me. I smell it. Do you smell really? it? Really? I can't. Yeah, I can smell this. It's like, nasty. Nah, that ain't going down. <laughs> but the juice doesn't I tried it for the viewers. <laughs> the juice is not that bad. <laughs> but, but trust me, I can smell. Let me All try right, to so give it another chance. Yeah, that doesn't smell good. <laughs> I, I promise you, like, fresh, it tastes really, really good. Yeah. Fresh is delicious. So what color is this one? Is This This like, is like a... It's, it's a kind of like a, if you put water with orange juice. And okay. Taste it. Okay. Um, but I promise you, it really is good in Brazil. So okay. next time you're in... Brazil, ba in Bahia? Bahia? for Carnival, try it out. <laughs> for sure. All right, so this okay. one, Guayaba. And it's guava, so I'm sure you have. This is this is something that you. It's more available here in the U.S. Like it's not impossible to find. Yep. So guavas are indigenous to Mexico or Central America, which I didn't know, and they were adopted as a crop in subtropical and tropical Asia, and the southern United States, from Tennessee and North Carolina south, as well as along the west coast and in Hawaii. I like guava in Puerto Rico. We used to have a guava paste and white cheese. And that was dessert. We cut up the guava into oh. little pieces, white cheese, put a toothpick in it, uh -huh. and you just eat it nonstop. Did they have a name for it? Uh, because there's something there's something called Romeo and Juliet in, oh really? in Brazil. Huh. But it's like it's it's I think it's made from guava, but it's like gelatin. It's kinda like a paste. 
over there. It's more than it's, oh, okay. it's different than like a gel pen. Spread it. I wonder Bread. if that's the same thing hmm. that they have in Brazil. I I didn't like it. Did you like it? I loved it. Really? Yeah. I was I tried it a couple times. And I was like, yeah. So if you don't like that, I'll finish it off. All right. <laughs> well, this <laughs> juice is different. I feel like juices. And this is so. What color is this right here? It's red. It's kind. It's the same red tint as the, the inside of the fruit. Like pink. Like yeah, a light yeah, pink. Okay, pink, so it's not dark. No. Are these two like the similar colors right no, here? No, this is more, for lack of a better term, like vomit color. Oh, really? Because these look the same color. <laughs> really? Well, it's a good thing I didn't. Thanks for telling me now. After I drank that, cheers. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, I guava, love it. Guava, I mean, some guava. people may not like it. I love the taste. I love mm -hmm. this in ice cream. I love this for dessert. I love it for juice. I think it's. I think it's probably because I'm accustomed to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, this just reminds me of Puerto Rico. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Down the hatch. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna judge by how much you left of each one, which one you <laughs> like the most. <laughs> it's easy the that you, you didn't like the cashew juice the most. All right. So starting with um, this one, the Kapua Su. Give it six. Six out yeah, of ten. Six. There was the tartness. The tartness just got uh, me. Okay. But I did. I did. I was able to take it down. I gave it a full effort. Mm -hmm. And it was the first one, so maybe you were just thirsty. True. Yeah, I'd give that one like a seven. Uh, what about the papaya mixed with the Barbados cherry? It felt like it tastes like watered down papaya, but I really enjoy papaya. I like the texture. Mm -hmm. I like you know it's great you know springtime summer drink for me. Goes eight. Eight. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that more like one hand two. Two. Out of two. Nice. Kent was not wanting me to drink that one. I'm sorry, Kent. Uh, what about the graviola? Yeah, that was. Excellent. Most of that. I nine now. Nine? Right? Yeah. That was great. I like that one a lot. Because the texture, the smell, the taste. It was light, refreshing. Mm -hmm. Cashew juice? That's hard for me because it wasn't the taste was different, but the smell totally took yeah. me out of the game. So I mean if I plugged my nose and drank it, I would probably really enjoy it. So mm -hmm. that one, you know, if that's a six, this has to be at least a six. And last but not least, guava. Ten? 10. Nice. Takes me back home to the island of enchantment. <laughs> La Isla del Encanto. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for coming and trying all the drinks with me. Hope you had fun. I appreciate it. And uh, next time I go out for a run, I'll be coming back for a... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to send you home with one of... Well, maybe not. One of these, <laughs> but I'll send you home with the ones that you like the most. Uh, I'm going to leave the link in the description if uh, you guys are interested, if you want to practice. I know the book is in English, but if you're practicing English or at a level where you can read a book in English, um, I'll leave the link to where you can buy the book on Amazon. And if you guys are wanting to uh, find a new YouTube channel to practice your English, your listening skills, uh, Jason also has a channel on YouTube, so I'll leave that in the description as well. Espero que vocês tenham gostado desse vídeo. Espero que vocês tenham uma boa semana e tchau, tchau. Adios. Tchau.